Are you a high schooler in the midst of applying to governor school? Maybe sciences engineering or biological and statistical sciences? Well, you're at the right place because today I'm gonna to be talking about how I got into governor school and how to ace the application process. So I got into Tennessee Governor School for Integration of Biological and Statistical Sciences and I applied during my sophomore year. But I'm talking about all governor schools here today. I was directly accepted and not waitlisted. And I beat the odds of what was expected of me. I wasn't the greatest academic scholar type of person, so even I didn't expect myself to get in. At the time, I had almost nothing on my resume, but even my friends that had better resumes applied and didn't get in. Today, I want to help you guys get accepted and show you guys tips for the application process. first step was nomination from my school counselor. Most people in this step just listed their academic accomplishments and the classes they've taken, but I wanted the best nomination. I showed my passion for biology more than anything, still including the classes that I've taken. This step was in October, so I did my best as this is the beginning of the application process. Now the next step was my resume. I had a pretty dry resume because I really hadn't done much. I had almost no volunteer hours, only some little things that I had done around the community. Also, I didn't have crazy accomplishments in anything, let alone the subject. I truly had a passion, but at the time, I didn't have many things resume-wise to show it, sadly. But my resume did grow tremendously after governor school. Governor school gave me opportunities and experiences, and I loved it. Now for the next step was the essay. We were given a prompt for an informational essay about science as a whole. I made an outline with key points before writing, which really helped me write a great essay. My essay was straightforward and did not beat around the bush. And I added quotes from sources because in science, there is always a need to have evidence to back up claims. They need to be cited to strengthen takeaways. Adding evidence was definitely a strength in my application. It definitely separated me from others. The last step was my two teacher recommendations. They asked for one science teacher and one math teacher, and I picked my AP physics teacher and my math teacher. In sophomore year, I wasn't taking AP biology, so I chose my AP physics teacher. My physics teacher was one of the best teachers, especially for teaching such a hard subject. I had always asked for help during and after class, so I was definitely one of the attentive students. Additionally, I picked my math teacher, who has been extremely inspiring to me. So I had very good choices of teachers that liked me and gave me great recommendations. So pick a good teacher to do your recommendation, even if it might stretch away from the subjects of your governor school. Lastly, throughout this entire process, I want to remind you guys, don't plagiarize. I know you can get through this process fairly. And that concludes my application for governor school. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll be sure to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video on my experience at governor school.